now let us see the problem number one on centroid of the plane figure uh, for this uh, the question is find the centroid of the given figure so it is a t section okay for this t section we have to locate centroid we have to find the centroid of the t section which is given here okay now uh, to begin with solution Initially, you have to draw the reference axis. Okay, so in this figure, already the reference axis is drawn. Here you can see reference axis. Reference x axis and reference y axis both are drawn. Okay, so sometimes this reference axis will not be given. If it is not given, you have to draw the reference axis. So this is the first step. Okay. Now, second step is you have to divide the whole figure into a number of regular components. Regular components means you have to divide the given complex figure into a rectangle, a triangle, a semicircle, or quadrant of the circle, like that. So, here what I will do is I will divide this T section into two rectangles. Okay, just I will draw one dotted line here. So, I will call this as rectangle number one and this as rectangle number. Okay, I have divided the given T section into two components, two rectangular components. This is the second step. Now the third step is to check symmetry of the figure. Okay, you have to check the symmetry of the figure. See here, uh, the centradal axis is drawn, centradal x axis and centradal y axis is drawn for the figure sometimes it, it, it is also not given you have to just uh, visualize and you have to decide the symmetry or else you can try a dotted line dotted uh, centradal axis uh, and you have to check about the symmetry okay so if you check uh, symmetry about x axis okay the given figure is not symmetric about x axis means this x axis is, is dividing the figure is not dividing the figure into two equal parts okay but uh, if you check symmetry about the y axis okay if you check symmetry about the y axis the figure is symmetric about y axis means this y axis is dividing the whole figure into two equal parts okay y axis is dividing the figure into two equal parts means uh, uh, let me show you how it, it is dividing see this y axis is dividing the figure into two equal parts like so this is one part and this is one part so both are having the equal areas both are symmetric in nature okay therefore y axis is dividing the figure into two equal parts therefore figure is symmetric about y axis okay if the figure is symmetric about a y axis then x bar is known x bar is known what will be the value of x bar it is directly equal to this 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 distance we want now x bar x bar is equal to overall width is 120 120 divided by 2 60 mm now we have directly got the value of x bar okay so here i'll write figure is symmetric about y axis in the solution part figure is symmetric about symmetric about y axis therefore x bar is equal to x bar is equal to 120 divided by 2 therefore x bar is equal to 60 mm now we got the answer for x bar directly see remember if the figure is symmetric about y axis then x bar is known if the figure is symmetric about x axis then y bar is known okay so here the figure is symmetric about y axis x bar is known that is equal to 60 mm now you got the answer for x bar now we have to solve for y bar okay to solve y bar this is the 
table okay okay we have formula for x bar and y bar see you have to remember this formula formula for finding the x bar is equal to sigma ax divided by sigma a formula to find the y bar is equal to sigma ay by sigma a okay this is what the formula we have to use to find the uh, y bar and x bar is equal to sigma ax by sigma a okay now we have already got the answer for x bar that is 60 mm okay now you have to do this calculation we have to find y bar to find the y bar we want area and y values right area and the y values so you write a tabular column okay with the first column as component second column as we know we need area no area third column as y and fourth column as ay okay and mention the units here see all the dimensions are given in terms of millimeter so here it will be mm square unit y is nothing but distance millimeter and ay ay unit will be area will be in terms of millimeter square into y is having unit of millimeter it will be millimeter cube therefore millimeter cube is the unit okay now for each and every component we have to do the for calculations here in this tabular column so we have the first component that is rectangle one let me take that rectangle one rectangle one for, for the first component we are doing the calculation now see for rectangle what is the area formula it is b into d b into d for rectangle one b is 120 120 and depth is 10 mm b into d is equal to 120 into 10 so you will get the answer as 1200 you will get the answer as 1200 and y value for rectangle one okay y value for rectangle one so what i will do is i will write the formula for for i'll write the formula first here in the figure if i take g1 as centroid from the base the formula is dy2 correct from the base of the rectangle the formula is dy2 and from the uh, for, for the for the second rectangle if i take g2 as centroid from the base of that rectangle okay uh, the distance is d by 2 formula is d, d by 2 okay so i have written the formula i have written the formula for rectangle 1 and rectangle 2 i have written the formula of y for y bar for rectangle 1 and rectangle 2 see here this y represents y represents distance of see for rectangle 1 we are doing the calculation now y represents distance of g1 from the reference x axis from the from the reference x axis okay and distance of g1 from the base of the rectangle is d by 2 means 10 divided by 2 means 5 mm okay but we want distance from reference x axis so it is 60 plus d by 2 10 by 2 okay i'll do the same calculation here here it is 60 plus d by 2 which is equal to 60 plus d is 10 by 2 65 mm okay 65 mm similarly you do the calculation for rectangle 2 do the calculation for rectangle 2 for rectangle 2 formula for area formula for area is equal to v into d v into d see for rectangle 2 b is 10 mm 
and D is 60 mm. We can see width is 10 mm and overall depth is 60 mm. Right? Therefore, here B is 10 mm into 60 mm. which is equal to 600 mm square okay then coming to the y value coming to the y value y is nothing but it is distance of g2 from the x axis it is directly dy2 it is directly dy2 okay so here dy2 which is equal to 60 by 2, 30 mm, 30 mm, okay. See, with respect to rectangle 1, see base of the rectangle 1, base of the rectangle 1 is at a distance of 60 mm from the reference axis, reference x axis, therefore it is 60 plus 10 divided by 2, 60 plus 10 divided by 2. When, when it comes to rectangle number 2, no, the base of the rectangle is directly lying on the x-axis, okay, means there is no distance between base of the rectangle and the x-axis, okay, it is directly dy2, don't get confused with the application of the formula here, okay, with respect to the rectangle 1, rectangle 1, the base of the rectangle 1 is lying at a 60 mm distance from the reference x-axis. Base of the rectangle is 60 mm apart from the reference x axis. So, you have to take into consideration of this distance as well as the formula dy2. Okay. Therefore, it is 60 plus dy2. Okay. It is 65. When it comes to rectangle number 2, when it comes to rectangle number 2, the base of the rectangle is at a distance of 0 millimeter apart. Means, base of the rectangle is directly lying on the lying on the x axis so it is directly only d y 2 is 60 by 2 30 mm okay now we calculate the ay means multiply area into y means 1200 into 65 okay 1200 into 65 so we will get the answer here as 78,000 78,000 for the second figure 600 into 30 you will get the answer as 18,000 18,000 okay 18,000 so here we have the formula of sigma a y by sigma a so you calculate sigma a here sigma a is equal to sigma a is equal to 1200 plus 600 1800 1800 mm square and here we calculate sigma a y sigma a y is equal to 78000 plus 18000 it will be 96000 96000 now we have the formula for calculating the y bar so we know that y bar is equal to y bar is equal to sigma a y by sigma a sigma a y is 96000 sigma a is 1800 which is equal to y bar is equal to uh, it is 53.33 mm so this completes the problem okay so for this uh, figure x bar is equal to 60 mm and y bar is equal to 53.33 mm Okay, thank you.